I expect these guys uh, to come out of this um, week-long ceremony with a deep sense of love for themselves and the earth and their ancestors and a sense of um, destiny. Being in the present moment is all that's needed to, to be in flow. And so when you're in gratitude, when you're in awe, you're present, like you're present with all that is and it, and it grows. Just, just watching a sunrise or a sunset is a flow state because there's a sense of timelessness. It slows you down. You access the timelessness, you're accessing a sense of awe and beauty. And most people don't, don't really do that. Even though I only knew him for a very short period of time, he impacted my life in ways that I couldn't even possibly have imagined. The work that he did with ancestry and the love and appreciation that he had for nature, and just what he showed by his example, has just, I know, I know the shifts and changes that it's caused within me, will go on for the rest of my life. And besides being just an absolutely beautiful human with the most amazing chuckle, <laughs> I think everyone who know him will <laughs> always remember, always remember his beautiful, <laughs> beautiful laugh. <laughs> and um, <laughs> just so, so grateful for the example and the humility with which he lived his life, but also just how genuine he was. And even though he's no longer with us, <laughs> he's my ancestor now. And I'll do my best to carry on his legacy. I love you, James Goldgoss. You will always be in my heart. It's very, very saddening to hear of your passing and you are one of my best friends. You are one of my best friends and uh, we've shared some amazing times together in pursuit of, of the mystery, pursuit of life and pursuit of exploration and sharing and um, <clears throat> together we've been no strangers to hardship, we've been no strangers to transformation, to learning, to bringing uh, our gifts to the world and I wanted to thank you for your presence in my life. I wanted to thank you for being there along the way over the last 10 years since I first met you. Uh, I've seen you grow and learn and transform so much into a, such a capable, virile, powerful, uh, grounded and resourceful man. And uh, I mean, you were never a stranger to the edge of reality. You were never a stranger to you know, finding your way in, uh, in the unknown. So I have trust and faith that wherever you are and whatever's going on for you, that you're on your way and you're part of the great beyond now, the great mystery. And uh, I just wanted to say that may you be blessed, may you be protected, may you be guided, may you be whole in all of your greatness and may you be all that you are in your infinite form. And may we all carry you within us, may we honor your legacy and your memory and uh, yeah, may you live on through us. So thank you also for bringing what's important into clarity, for helping us to remember connection, fragility, love, beauty, and uh, the importance of friendship. Um, so yeah, many blessings, my brother, and good luck on your journey. And lots of love and blessings to all those that you 
loved and are part of your world as well. You said something like, grief is a way of loving something that's no longer in your life and love is a way of grieving something that is still in your life. And it made so much sense to me then and it makes more sense to me now. He was much more than a teacher to us. He was our brother, he was our friend. He was such an exemplar of, of what a beautiful man can be. You know, a real warrior, open-hearted, seeking, powerful yet supple, humble yet strong, you know, like, what a, what a beautiful man. I see him whenever I walk through the forests or the land here, I just see him, you know, and he's a wizard hood and he's didgeridoo. And I'll always see him out here. That workshop was more than just a workshop. It was the creation of a myth. We were all present with that wonderful man. We were all infused with his magic. And we need to carry that with us for the rest of our lives. Much love to you all. To see you guys kind of come here um, in their kind of shell and and um, and really deepen in their uh, relationship with who they are and being really okay, just being really leaving really satisfied with who they are, leaving with a sense of being supported by life, by their ancestors, by um, the elements of the of nature and and just feeling like a sense of belonging and a sense of tribe. I think what I said at the beginning of the, of the week of, of them having a sense of, leaving with a sense of purpose and a sense of uh, destiny and, and self-love and per freedom, freedom and to, to, to do what they, they want and not necessarily what people around them want them to do or culture wants them to do. Um, but really what they came here to do on this planet and to be in kind of a sacred relationship with, with life. Very fulfilled and nourished myself that um, this went super smooth and, and uh, yeah, I'll be doing more, we'll be doing more of these. When you have a why, you're more likely to pay attention. I have like a mantra that I, I repeat over, which is like with all my hearts, all the activities that I do out in life are gonna be done from that place.